this is Jason and T with Mountain Readiness, and today we're standing here with Chantal Mullen from the, For the Farm and Forge. And she's gonna be at our expo. She's got a lot of cool stuff going on. I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about what her specialty is and a little bit about what she's gonna do for us at our expo. expo. All right, um, so I'm super happy to be able to come out and um, give some education on a couple of different areas. Um, first off, uh, uh, what we do is we farm and forge. Um, I'm the farmer and my husband is a blacksmith. And so we have kind of teamed up together and we farm, we raise um, heritage um, hogs, chickens for eggs and meat, um, vegetables, specialty crops like mushrooms and microgreens. We give educational classes and farm tours and even we're gonna be doing an internship this year. Um, and everything that we do is centered around regenerative and sustainable uh, practices. So um, we don't use any chemicals, uh, we make all of our own um, fertilizers and we rotate our animals and feed them a natural diet um, and those are all things that you guys can learn how to do so we're hoping that you'll come out and you can learn some of our gardening techniques um, for beginners and farmers there's tactics and techniques that we can teach you on how to get started this year and then we also are going to be doing black soldier flies. So if you've never heard about this, this is an amazing thing that you can have here that's native and it's an amazing thing for a protein source for your animals. And then on the other side, we're also going to be teaching about how to process a hog. This is something that anybody can do. Um, it's going to be uh, hands-on. You'll be able to see the different steps over three different classes, three different days. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to have the confidence to process your own animal should you not be able to get into a processor, so. Wow, so let me backtrack. Just, I just wanna to touch on something you said there. Heritage livestock, what is that? So um, heritage livestock is really livestock that is grown on a small scale. Um, these are not commercial breeds. Um, these are, are animals that um, particularly do well on homesteads. Mm -hmm. Um, smaller scale, they're hardier animals, they can actually live on the land. They don't need the pampering that these commercial breeds typically need. And so they're healthier, hardier animals. They're gonna be easier for you to maintain. That's all, I love easy. My, yeah. that's good. I'm all about easy, so that, that's great. Easy. So, so let me get this straight. You're literally gonna show our students, and, and I, me too, yeah. how to process a hog from dead hog laying there to ready to eat absolutely that's amazing that's i mean you can't where are you going to find that at that's that's hands on and, and maybe if we're if we ask really nicely my husband will um cook some of the meat for us what? Yeah. <laughs> and get to eat yeah um, now and then the other side of this is is chantal is going to till up a garden mm -hmm. and plant a garden on site show you guys how to do this yep. on a small scale um all uh heirloom seed mm -hmm. Uh, how to take care of it. So planting gardens from start to finish, processing li live, you know, from, from, from dead hog to, to the table. And then Christopher's gonna cook for us on top of it. <laughs> Christopher is in the background. He's like, uh, why, why? That is awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that myself. That's gonna be great. I, I have helped process hogs when I was a, a little tight. Uh, my grandpa used to do it, but that's a skill set that I, I do not have. And so that's really fascinating Kids stuff. can absolutely be a part of this. I know that our kids um, have learned a lot. They've been there for all of the processing that we've done. So, um, you know, it's, it's really a good opportunity for a family to really kind of come together because there are things the kids can help you with while you're going through that process. So opportunities there for sure. Free labor at the minimum. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's why we have kids, right? <laughs> exactly. It's a good opportunity to show them where the, the food actually comes from that they're eating too. I mean, exactly. you know, it's, it's not grown and, and processed in the grocery store. You know, that's it comes right. from somewhere else. We've had people come out to our farm before, um, schools where um, we, do, we usually try to do potato pulling because kids love that. And we have them, we have kids that come out that don't know that I'm going to pull this plant out of the ground and that's where my potato comes from or that's where my carrot comes from. And you see these kids have these experiences and the light bulb turns on and that's really, you know, education wise, that's why we do so much education to begin with because it's those things that are going to ignite in people, um, you know, to be able to move forward and take that and actually use it. 
That's great. I mean, it's, it's been our theory. We've been losing tribal knowledge for the last hundred mm -hmm. years. So anytime we can get a little bit of that back and pass it on to the next generation, that's great. That's yeah. great. So thank you for coming out and talking to us today. Thank yeah. you for coming to the expo. The Super expo, excited. yeah, the expo is going to be five, six, and seven of May. It'll be in Union Grove, North Carolina. Check us out on MountainReadiness.com, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. That's it. All, all in a nutshell. This is what we're going to be bringing to this expo, May fifth, sixth, and seventh. Hands on. Yep. Come out. Plant a garden. Butcher hog. <laughs> the whole bit. Eat. Eat butchered hogs, eat sausage on Christopher. <laughs> Come see us, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.